Problem number 16 similar to problem number 15 but an extra adjustment is there following data refers to market returns on V limited a V company limited script return for a particular period so we have here V company returns and the market returns given in the problem so determine beta coefficient, alpha coefficient, coefficient of correlation, coefficient of determination and the new one here is systematic risk. So let us work it out further. Again, we have to be very careful. Market return is always X and the company returns is Y. So company is a dependent variable and a return of market is independent variable so that is how we go for it so we have to go for total of uh, each column y column as well as x column but we have here minus value so we have to add all the plus values then minus 10 here also same add all the 5 different values and minus 13 we have to do so y is 54 x is 36 so that is the total value we have to go for x square first 15 into 15 7 into 7 16 into 16 like that we have to go further so 15 into 15 225 49 256 minus 13 into minus 13 becomes plus plus 169, 16 and 49. Next we have to go for y square, 18 into 18, 9 into 19, 9 into 9. So that way, 18 into 18, 324, 9 into 9, 81, 20 into 20, 400. Minus 10 into minus 10 becomes plus plus 100 similarly 5 into 5 25 12 into 12 144 so the total of that also to be done summation y square the last column is x into y 15 into 18 or 18 into 15 we can do either way so first one 18 into 15 270 9 into 7, 63, 20 into 16, 320, 10 into 13, 130. Again, minus 10, in, minus 10 into minus 13, it becomes plus 130. 5 into 4, 20, 12 into 7, 84. Again, we have to go for the total of the xy column summation xy so if you add all the x square values 764 y square values 1074 x into y Next, after calculating all the values for different columns, we have to first always go for working that will be helpful for alpha calculation and further. So, summation x divided by n, 36 divided by n, n means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 items. Next, 54 divided by 6 
that is 9. So after finding x bar and y bar, we have to move on to calculation of beta. So substitute here for the formula n again number of items in x and y series that is 6 into 887 minus summation x into summation y 36 into 54 divided by again n into summation x square summation x square is 764 minus summation x whole square 36 square so we have to be simplifying further 6 into 877 36 into 54 1944 6 into 764 4584 36 into 36 1296 Simplify 5322 minus 1944 minus values you have to consider and work. You get double three seven eight divided by three two double eight. If you divide that, you get the beta value. Beta is equal to 1.027 1.027 if you, if you uh, divide and find the value coming to the alpha substitution to be done for the formula itself for this we need y bar as well as x bar first is y bar that is 9 minus beta value 1.027 multiplied by x bar value that is 6 9 minus 6.162 So alpha is equal to 2.838 2.838 Next move on to the correlation Correlation formula and beta formula most of it similar Correlation will have an extension of this part and a square root in the denominator. So substitution becomes quite easier and simplification also easier. The numerator remains the same. Denominator changes bit. So you can substitute faster. Summation y square 1074 minus summation y whole square I'll go for simplification directly because we have it over here 3378 numerator I have taken directly then further 8 I'll go for square root I'll go for simplification of this one 6 into 1074 minus 54 into 54 So you have to take a square roots and then multiply this two. So you have to find square root of 3288, square root of 3528 and you have to multiply both the values. 57.34 square root of 3528 is 
59.39 so if you simplify further you get the final answer 0 0.9919 So with this we can go for determination value coefficient of determination square square of it square of the r value r square is equal to 0 0.98 Here, last part of the question that is calculation of systematic risk, we call it as SR. To calculate SR, earlier whatever the calculations have been done by us, I have written here so that we can refer this and work this part of a systematic risk. So, I have whatever worked out it has been given here. So, let us look into the formula of uh, systematic risk beta square into the variance so beta square value we already have calculated in the problem working so beta square multiplied by variance square there is a market of variance so here variance of m means to be calculated so alpha is nothing but market returns that is m that is what we have to find so this can be worked out separately as first calculation of standard deviation once you find the standard deviation we can go for calculation of variance so let me go for calculation of standard deviation the formula i have written here so direct method summation x square summation x square is 7 64 n is 6 minus Summation x divided by n, summation x is 36 divided by 6 whole square. So let me simplify this further. So 764 divided by 6, 127.33 minus 36 divided by 6 is 6. So 6 square we have to do. So 127 minus 127.33 minus 36 it is going to be 91.33 square root of it will be the SD of the market value. So square root of 91.33 will be 9.56. So this is the calculation of SD. I will substitute here. 9.56 square so we have to multiply this we will be getting the value of uh, systematic uh, risk so 1.027 square will be 1.0547 multiplied by 9.56 square 91.39 so when you multiply these two we get 96.38 so systematic risk value is 96.38